With the intro elements in place, I'm going to put markers on the timeline. Once markers are set, I'll create title templates for text and graphics. I have the initial sequence set. I have my initial marker set. I have a two screen view. Normally I would be working with two monitors to read my script, or you could be following an outline. If I didn't have two monitors, I also use a tablet. You can use a smartphone, whatever. This gives me another level of proofreading and error checking. There are times that I find things that I really need to re-record. I need to restate them. I need to correct certain things. Maybe I've less left things in that I wanted to take out, which sometimes I take out through just editing the video. But this is a final proofread and a check of the actual video while it's in production. But once I'm past that point, I've got my initial marker. I'm in here. And what I'm going to do is just look at the timeline here. I've got my cursor on the play button. On the keyboard, my finger's on the M key. I'm going to play the audio. As I get to the end of a paragraph, I'm going to give it just a few frames or half a second or whatever to before the next paragraph starts. And then I'm going to stop it or pause it and hit the M key to drop a marker. I'm going to go through this entire presentation and I'm going to put all the markers on the timeline. This is a fairly short video, so it's not going to take me that long and I will speed that process up for the final video. If you've got a long production with a lot of text, it's going to take some time. This is the tedious part of it. There aren't any shortcuts and you don't want to take any shortcuts right now because if you do, you will pay for it later. I have. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start this process. I'm going to do the first few paragraphs and then I will accelerate the recording, go through the entire timeline, and then I'll come back to creating the templates and dropping in uh, the uh, titles. The translation was ordered by King James the scrutinized of all Bible versions. Pause, M, play. But is the King James version reliable? Then what's the real problem with it? Pause, M, the play. difficulty with both for new Bible students. Pause, M, play. All right, I'm going to go ahead and populate the timeline on out with the markers from this point on. And then the next step will be to move to the title templates. About that in a moment. We need to dishandle them. Decide to do so. First, read. Write today. Dictionary will help clear that up. And at times. Lastly, critically, and we could study and describe by a Bible. With the timeline marked, I can now create initial titles for each track. This becomes a framework that allows me to move faster and more efficiently when adding content, including text and graphics, to the presentation.